estuve allá como un año, un año y medio, fui cuidado aquí. So, la experiencia de allá, es, tú sabes que no, no hay memoria de, de lo que pasó allá, todo es de aquí, ¿entiendes? Por eso que digo que somos buenos de Native New York, porque todo, todas las costumbres son, tú sabes, la cultura, oh, perdón, pero todavía hablo, tú sabes. La, toda experiencia allá, ¿verdad? pero nací allá, nací allá en el 45, en el 44, el 21, el día de la masa, 21 de marzo. Y, so, ¿qué, más quiere, ¿Qué más te digo? ¿Por qué razón vinieron a este país? ¿Qué? ¿Por qué razón vino usted y su familia a este país? Bueno, porque... Okay, we're, we're going to speak in English right now. And um, Pedro Pietri is the author of Puerto Rican Obituary. Pedro, ¿nos puede, uh, could you explain to us, right? <laughs> Why did you title this book Puerto Rican Obituary? Okay, it was titled Puerto Rican Obituary because uh, the experiences were more or less conducive to the title Obituary. Where we were raised up, people came here, they migrated from Puerto Rico, pursuing a dream, an American dream, trying to find a better way of living. And instead what they found was slums, ghettos, factory jobs, disappointments, and a lot of gambling, and a, a lot of miserable situations. And yet they all just stood here waiting to make that dream come true. And they died with these hopes in mind. They died dreaming about going back, as the poem explains. And so more or less it's their experience, that whole adventure of coming from somewhere, nowhere, and never getting back there. So this is why I was named obituary. I mean, being raised up in this environment and seeing people dying, and those who cried the most at the funerals always remember, well, he wanted to do this, he wanted to do that. Had he hit this number, he would have still been alive today. And that's why I've titled it Obituary, because let's say from 1950 till about the mid-60s, when the book was written, this is more or less what went on with those who migrated from Puerto Rico over here in the 40s, that none of their dreams were achieved, none of their ambitions were realized. And this is why uh, a lot of people have told me, well, such a negative title, well, it was a negative experience. But I try to more or less humor it up, but still reminding everybody that it was a very sad experience, you know. This is a, bo a book of poetry, right? It's a, it's a book of poetry. It's autobiographical poems, and they're long poems. And more or less, the poems were written in the oral tradition, whereas I first memorized them and then wrote them down because due to the, as I mentioned before, the lack of education in these schools that I was supposed to be educated in, we didn't learn about literature. But the memory still went back from, you know, the whole cultural thing of storytelling that we're so fluent at. So I memorized all the poems first and then I wrote them. And the poems were like, came from conversations with people. They say, Fulano de Tai se murió. So then we just write it down, another casualty, and this is what structured the poems. Uh, you know, the whole thing when you're in parties and when you're dancing, and, or the family sits down on Sunday and just talks and talks. And I was also raised up listening to the radio, you know? What? Where were you raised? Uh, I was raised up in Manhattan, 135th Amsterdam Avenue. It was sort of a multicultural neighborhood in the beginning, but then uh, five years later it all became a Puerto Rican neighborhood. And then they broke it down and moved us to some projects, you know, so we were always being relocated, so we never really had any time to understand anything about ourselves. But in the process, all these people did die. They died trying to find this dream that they came looking for, and, and they're still dying. I mean, this poem is good for the Dominicans, for all of them, because every, I mean, Every, every, every new generation that comes from some different country thinking that this is the promised land, it applies to them because you get hooked up with numbers, religion, and dreams that are unrealistic. And trying to work within the system to make these dreams come true is like defeating your purpose. And that's why they all went into this obituary. And it, it applies, oh, go ahead. Any more questions? No, thank you very much. Oh, is that a